the next few minutes, we're going to be talking about a streaming yeah. service. Uh -huh. Also, for those of uh, you who are just joining us, we are the comic panel. This yes, is our second is hour. Yeah, and I'm Justin. <laughs> and I'm Taylon. I'm Cody. I guess Jake's we're doing not names here. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, anyway, uh, so, yeah. Um, uh, apart from Disney making their own streaming service, DC is also planning on doing their own streaming service. Yeah, I feel like DC is going to do the DC thing and just wait until Marvel does it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, was that a bird on DC? <laughs> yeah, I was. I mean, it, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure the listeners felt the burn. But... <laughs> I mean, it's true, though. Yeah, they, yeah. You know, they're yeah. like, we're going to do a cinematic universe. We're going to do a cinematic universe. <laughs> we were thinking at first. <laughs> but, you just didn't tell anybody. But like DC's uh, extended universe, it's going to fail. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's that's another thing, too. It's just that, Wait, uh, th that's more for later. That's, that's more for later. <laughs> okay, we'll talk about that later, then. Yes. Um, Stay tuned. <laughs> uh, so, anyway... Um, this streaming service is going to, so I think they're going to start out with a few stuff. Um, and it's going to be stuff that you would have probably already seen before. <laughs> um, you know, like movies that have already come out, like uh, maybe Justice League Dark, Justice League War, kind of, you mm -hmm. know, those movies. Right. But then they're also planning on creating a Titans TV show, which is going to be their new show on the streaming service so like runaways how it's on hulu titans is going to be on this dc streaming service and it's about the teen titans mm -hmm. but i think it's a it's not quite the teen times i'm used to because I, I i grew up with the teen titans show on cartoon network mm -hmm. but this show it sounds like so far it's, so they have all the main characters cast and it sounds like so far the it's going to be Nightwing and Starfire, and they're going to be, like, maybe 20s. Right, yeah, And yeah. then Beast Boy and Raven are going to be teens. And I don't know if there's anybody else. I'm pr I, I only heard those four people. Um, I'm trying to remember. I think, yeah, I don't think Cyborg was cast. There's been light... Very, very light talks of um, uh, Kid Flash coming on. All right, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a thing that I've been seeing pop up a lot is, like, uh, I guess in, in the crossover, did um, Firestorm leave uh, the oh, you're talking Legend, about Legends CW? of... Yes, yes, CW. Yeah, so half of Firestorm died. Okay. And then the other half was like, I need to figure out who I am. On my own. Mm -hmm. Okay, so <clears throat> yeah, pe a lot of people are wondering if um, Kid Flash is gonna move to Legends of Tomorrow. Okay, that would be. Oh, oh, uh, as in like the Kid Flash they already have. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Huh. That's not. I mean, it it might make sense because he's been gone for most of the season. Mm-hmm. Or like season four. Right. Yeah. Um. It, basically, that's what they're saying. Like, give him a chance on another show since he's been so underutilized in the mm -hmm. Flash. Okay. Um, and it's and it sounded like, unlike Dick Grayson, uh, he had an easier time naming himself as like his own hero because he was like a hero now of Keystone or some of like that. Okay. Yeah. 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 He 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 is the Flash of Keystone City. Mm -hmm. Now. Right. Yeah, that, that, that is his hometown, technically. Um, yeah, or originally, uh, that was Jay Garrick's hometown. Uh, and mm -hmm. then, uh, eventually, Kid, Kid Flash, you know, like... Because, you know, it's on a different Earth yeah. for Jay Garrick. But, mm -hmm. yeah, Kid Flash is from Keystone. And it's like it's kind of like a Twin City deal. Like, okay. Uh, so, um, so, going back to the Titans show... They had a, apparently they're going to have two reoccurring characters called, man, named, I think it's Hawk and Dove. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, that's the other two that yeah. I couldn't remember. Hawk and Dove. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know much about them other than I thought they were statues in a comic book because they died. And, like, 
Cause, and I think, because I, I always thought that Hawk and Dove were, like, uh, two guys, like, brothers. But um, this Hawk and Dove is brother, sister, or just male? They, you know? It's been both, two, okay. two different versions. Okay. Um, so yeah. the Titans one is male and female. I don't know if they're brother or sister, though. Um, they should be brother and sister. That's usually okay. how the dynamic works. I mean, granted, they could decide to go with something else, but mm-hmm. I'm... I'm just guessing based on mm-hmm. previous that they should be brother and sister. Um, okay. And th- this uh, <clears throat> this was like, I don't know if important is the word, but mm-hmm. this was notable in the fact that <clears throat> their cast members were uh, released as well as their costumes. Mm-hmm. And their costumes were like movie level quality. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. And so it was like, that's pretty darn good. Like, wow. Uh, High production value. That's interesting. Yeah. Um, I'm always interested when, like, they decide to use Hawk and Dove, because, like, personally, like, from what I've seen of them, I haven't found them to be very, like, interesting characters. <laughs> like, they've okay. tried to use them in interesting ways, mm-hmm. but uh, from, from what I can tell, like, it's, I don't know. Like, like, I mean, the concept almost sounds interesting. Yeah. You know, you got one, like, a, a, a team of siblings, and one of them is, like, kind of very um, pro, like, violent, outburst, war. I assume and, that's hot. Raphael. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, and then the other one is more about um, justice and peace mm-hmm. and okay. stuff. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, like, kind of you know, that having to work together Ying and Yang and find that, yeah, j- just in <laughs> <laughs> basically it was also, um, just tossing out words yeah, just uh, tossing out words, but you know, you got it peanut butter and jelly sandwich <laughs> the, the place where I saw the picture also noted that uh, Hawk and Dove are not main characters or recurring characters hmm. and they, they said that if this is the kind of quality costume we get from recurring characters I'm looking forward to what the main characters have, mm-hmm. and uh, I think I think that I'm I don't know I, I'm looking forward to seeing that show. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, me too, definitely. I I want it, <laughs> <laughs> but I'm like, I not I, just from that. I'm not sure like if that really raised my excitement for it, but but so this did raise my excitement for it though. Mm-hmm. Because the char- the actor cast for Hawk is Alan Richson, something like that. Okay. And if you have followed his career, he was Aquaman in Smallville. He was also the voice of Raphael in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movies, uh, as in like the two new ones. Oh, okay. Not. The, yeah. No. <laughs> no not, not, the, the, not, not the good one. Two thousand three <laughs> show. <laughs> no. No. The. The um, Out of the Shadows and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah, the movies aren't bad. Mm-hmm. They're not a 2003 show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, when he when he said movie, I was thinking of like the old movies with people in suits. Oh, oh those. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I was like, man, what an old guy <laughs> be on the Teen Titans. Weird. <laughs> but, but yeah, so I'm I'm excited for that. That that really got me like, all right, yes. And then Dove is somebody. Somebody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. No. Um. I like. I mean, back, back kind of to the costumes though. I I liked uh, looking at Robin's costume. It was it was a good costume. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay. So okay, yeah, yeah. There's a, there's the costume. Look how look how movie quality that is. Yeah. Although it looks almost like concept art, maybe. Not concept art, but it looks like really weird. I don't know how to explain it best. It just, um, like, it almost looks like they're trying a little too hard. <laughs> <laughs> to, like, make it seem product quality? Or? or, like, it just, it looks like, like a fake superhero, I guess. <laughs> like, like, like a from... little bit too plastic. Like, it's already an action figure. <laughs> <laughs> kind, of, kind of like George Clooney, Batman. Like, you know, already looked oh, like... Oh, okay. 
Oh, with the nipple. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I got you. The nipple costume. Okay. Uh-huh. Um, so Dove is Minka Kelly, and by the looks of it, I've never seen her movies. Oh wait, well maybe I haven't seen Just Go with it, but that's probably the most popular one. Mm. Okay. That people. Oh, might she have was seen. Out, she was also in Friday Night Lights. I mean, I've never seen that, but it's a popular TV show. Oh okay. Mm-hmm. From 2006 to 2011. Yeah. Yeah, it was a popular TV mm-hmm. show. And 500 Days of Summer. People might have seen that. I haven't seen that. Although it looked interesting. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Since we're talking about actors, let, let's find the main Titans cast. Oh, yeah. Um, There's something that I'd like to say, though. It, I mean, it would be cool if there was, like, um, a, like, hot head and a, like... Hawk and Dove, mm-hmm. but if they switched it up so that, like the hot head was the girl and the dove was the guy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Because I mean, like I, I hadn't even looked at the picture, but I knew. Yeah, I, you I did. Mean, I knew. Uh huh. That, that's why, like the original incarnation, I liked them both being dudes. I mean, not to say like I mean, there's definitely a need for more females in like uh, in superhero dramas, but at the same time, it's like. Oh wow! You made the woman the peaceful one, and the dude the like testosterone fueled like rage machine. Good. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming. Uh, amazing. <laughs> yeah, but like with two dudes, you know, you just have like, uh, you, you know, like there, there's no like contrast really, and you just see them for like what their characters are supposed to re- represent. Or if you do what you said and have. The, the roles flipped for what's expected, then that's even better. Alright. Uh, so, the Robin in mm-hmm. this um, Titans show is Brenton Thwaites. Something like that. And apparently he's an actor and producer. Oh, really? I, I don't know what he produced in, but he was in Pirates of the Caribbean as Henry Turner. Okay. I didn't. I didn't read that till just now. But okay, all right. So I, I have seen him in something that makes it all better. <laughs> uh, he was also in Maleficent mm-hmm. and The Giver, which I'm not sure if I've seen. I feel like I have. He was also in Gods of Egypt. I've never heard of that one. Uh, so then we go to Raven, and her actress, uh, you know, uh, Tegan Croft, and. She was in The Osiris Child? Oh, that just came out. Oh, okay. Or, well, okay, it just came out on DVD. I don't know oh, okay. how long it's been out in. Well, it says 2016 here. Okay, so. yeah. Um, uh, do, do you know anything about it? Um, I don't know. It. Okay, wait, so let me think about it for a second. It's... <sighs> yeah, I can't, I can't quite remember the plot. It has something to do... Yeah, the future... Uh, yeah, basically, hmm. basically, it's a future disaster movie, like okay. you know, dystopian. Di- yeah, yeah, kind of dystopian. And this this girl is kind of the savior or whatever. And I assume that that might be Tegan. Croft? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. But then, so then that was Raven. So we mm-hmm. went over Robin and Raven. Now. Uh, da, 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 da. What's her name? Uh, Coriander. Yes, Starfire ah. is uh, portrayed by Anna mm-hmm. Diop. Nothing like being named after a spice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was in the new Twenty Four. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, Twenty Four Legacy. She mm-hmm. was also in Quantico and The Messengers. Hmm. And that's on CW. Huh. Curse. I feel like I feel like I should know that. <laughs> CW is like. 75% of the shows I watch. <laughs> uh, oh, but, something that I'd like to say about t- another TV show. Um, they're thinking about uh, re, like, reviving uh, The Office. Oh, really? really? Yeah. Hmm. As in the same the, characters? The, I don't know. The, I, I was reading something that said that um, Michael Scott wouldn't be coming back. Oh, okay. Um, Who, who's Michael Scott? Uh, um, that's uh, Steve Carell's character. Yeah, Steve Carell. Oh, oh okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That like, makes sense. He's, yeah. He seems like a busy guy. Yeah. <laughs> or or maybe too expensive to hire. P- perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. Either. I mean, 
Or maybe you just got, oh, ah, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> maybe you just got too old. I don't know. I mean, um, he was getting there at the end of the show. Okay. Yeah. And then Beast Boy is played by Ryan Potter, I assume the fourth. Oh, <laughs> I don't. Know. I don't know if that means the fourth or maybe. maybe the f- <laughs> no, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's probably the fourth. Okay, um, and he is actor, producer, and I guess stuntman. Oh wow! He was in Big Hero Six. He was Hero. Uh, and he was also in the series, Big Hero Six. And Super Ninja, uh, it's a Nickelodeon show. So yeah. So the main main takeaway from this is that most of these characters we've never seen before. Yeah, yeah. Uh-